Lovelies, good morning. <laughs> Lennox is looking at me like, who are you talking to? Hi, big girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, this feels so weird to be holding an actual camera and vlogging. Like, <laughs> I know, isn't it strange? <laughs> you never vlog before <laughs> with a camera. <laughs> at least not this kind of camera anyways you guys um as you can see we are still in the process of getting settled in we got our christmas stuff set up well some of it at least um but yeah i don't know don't expect a whole lot of like organization and strategy with these vlogs this is going to be this is these vlogs are going to be as we go along <laughs> because I'm, you know, still creating content and I'm home all day with Linux because we just gonna have to do the best we can. Okay. Um, cause I want to stay consistent and, uh, I feel like every YouTuber is always like, I want to be consistent. Oh huh? guys, it's been a thousand years and, uh, thank you guys for sticking around. Like girl, shut up. Just do the work. Okay. Do the work. <laughs> do the work. No. Yeah. Do the work. But today we are mostly just in the house um i have some work i have to turn in luckily i'm almost done already and it's only 8 45 in the morning so <laughs> yeah maybe well it's supposed to rain later but i was going to take lennox for like a walk and stuff like that okay baby girl okay but yeah if you guys don't know lennox a uh, lennox lex and i moved lennox too of course but um we moved from delaware to maryland back to maryland i should say I'm originally from Maryland, so it's not like a huge thing. Me and Alex met at Morgan State, so we've spent plenty of time there. We went to school there, we lived there after the fact, and now we're back because Alex got a job opportunity, and we're here in Delaware, I mean, in Maryland now. So we love our new house. I would like to do a tour, but the house is just so discombobulated right now that it's like, I don't know that I want to show y'all the mess. You know, because moving, my move day was last weekend and I had, and I had a lot of work that I had to do. So it was like, let's just get the move done so that I can get back to the work. And I'm just now turning down from the work part of it. So we can finally focus on, okay, let's get some organization going in here. Let's go look at furniture, stuff like that. So that's pretty much it so far. Today's Thursday. Thursday, November 14th. Happy birthday, Miles. So this is where we're at. And I'll let y'all see some of the mess, but I don't know. Will we, get a, will we get it together a little bit more, then I will show you like the rest of the rooms and the home. But yeah, anyways, let me get back to it so that hopefully I can be done by 10 o'clock and we can have the rest of the day to just have fun, right, Lennox? <laughs> Let me show you guys. <laughs> Can we do a zoom? Whoa, look at that pretty baby face. <laughs> Can you say hi? Good job, Lennox. Lennox is, she'll be two in February, so that makes her, tomorrow she'll be, what, 24, 23, 22, 21 months. But we just say almost two. She's like, turn the camera back around. Yeah. <laughs> He's just, she loves looking at herself. <laughs> Lennox. Oh, you give him a hug. Okay, leave that there. Hey you guys, 
I'm still sitting in this same spot. <laughs> Lennox is taking her nap. She should be up in about a second. And um, I just wanted to get on here and complain about this whole furniture situation because We plan to bring our furniture from our old house to this home, but the one couch that we had, the three-seater, was just way too big to get up the stairwell. And that meant the smaller couch couldn't really go without the big couch, so we just scraped, scratched the whole situation. And we're like, fine, we'll get a new couch. Just I guess it's time for a new one, new set anyway. But I just didn't feel like paying for that. But we'll move forward. We already knew we needed a new, needed a new dining room set, but y'all, I don't know what's going on with furniture or if this is just always the case, but I was looking at furniture all week, literally the month even, but but this morning I was looking, I put things in my cart, this table, this couch, we're going to look at this couch this weekend. A few hours later, I look and everything is sold out. Everything that I picked is gone or back ordered. And I'm like so mad y'all i was so mad but then i was like okay let me see what other sites have found another dining room table on a different site and i wasn't like 100 percent in love with it i was like 95 percent of the way there but i couldn't really find anything else so i was just like fine we'll get it alex said he liked it as well so that normally is a decision maker for me when i can't decide and um yeah <laughs> go back to that site a couple hours later gone all of it gone. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was like, God, what do you want me to do about this furniture? Because everything is already like two, four, six, eight, ten 10 weeks out for delivery. And I'm like back to square zero, square one. Like, I don't even know what to get, let alone, you know, have, have a chance to really think about delivery time because I'm like, I don't even know what I want. Anyways, I go onto this other site called furniturepick.com. They had the second option that um, I was pretty much good with for like $600 cheaper. They have in like a Black Friday sale thing. There was a promo code. <laughs> I'm like, okay, God, I guess I see what you're doing. I guess I see what you're doing. Because my new thing is as a stressful, worry ward type of person that I am, I'm trying to get myself out of that and to look at situations as not really like a, um, a uh, disadvantage or like a obstacle challenge, whatever. I look at it as a redirect. So I'm like, okay, guy, where are you taking me to instead? Because he's been showing himself very like, or at least I've been more intentional about listening and really trying to pay attention and pray and listen and all that stuff. So it's helping me to control my emotions by saying, okay, I guess that furniture was not for me. Maybe it was going to be faulty. Maybe it was going to be more than what we should have spent. What? Uh, who knows? So that was one of those moments in particular where I was just like, okay, another reminder. Ding, you hear my watch? Another reminder that God is just redirecting me where I'm supposed to be. Because like, y'all... 600 or 500 dollars less like that's a lot especially when we have furniture to buy so i'll show you guys where i don't really want to show you all the dining room areas too many windows and we don't have shades yet <laughs> and this is where our tv will be now i know this wall is a little unusually narrow but that's where like the cable and the ethernet stuff is so we're just going to get a wall mount Mount this TV up on the wall. It will fit. It won't be hanging off the sides. It's just look. It looks that way now because it's on a cabinet. So that means our couches have to go here, and I'm just a little bit confused because I'm like, okay, you put a sectional here. It's an L shape. Okay, well then, what goes in that corner over there, or should something go here? Like it just makes me feel a little bit like unsure of myself when designing and setting up the room, but. So what we were going to initially do was get modular couches, which are just couches that you can piece together yourself. Um, you can make them as long or as short as you like. So when they arrive, they arrive in pieces. That way we don't have to worry about this narrow stairwell being an issue um, when 
delivery when it's time to deliver it. Yeah, so I was gonna get like regular long couch and then a love seat and then like two little armchairs right here where I'm standing. The entry to, well, maybe just one. I don't want to block the entryway to the kitchen too much. And then I also don't like the fact that like sectional kind of forces everyone into the same space per se, unless you get a huge one. And I don't really want to spend like $3,500 $3, or $4,000 on one piece of furniture. I don't know. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet because I don't want to get a cheap one. I don't like when the couches and the, cushion, the cushions and the, the base starts to sag. I hate that. So like I want to get something that's going to last for a good amount of time look really nice i need that performance fabric that ashley furniture keep talking about because linux you know i'm sure the wear and tear of her is going to be through the roof and even just you know us as well you know clothes rubbing against the oily fingers whatever you know it's just part of life and i want to get the ba biggest bang for my buck but anyways y'all that's pretty much it i'm gonna go run and awake Linux up from her nap and maybe I'll see y'all the end of this day, maybe I won't. But yeah, bye.